Welcome to PixWriter on the Macintosh. PixWriter is a student writing program that uses pictures and words to support reading and writing. On the screen is the PixWriter program. At the top of the screen is the paper. The large blue box is the insertion box showing where the next word will go. In the middle of the screen is a toolbar and we'll talk about the tools as we use them. The bottom area is called the word bank and we refer to the individual spaces as buttons. It's very easy to create a word bank for students to use. Simply use your keyboard and enter a word as you normally would and press the space bar. Dog. When you press the space bar, PixWriter automatically pairs the picture to the word and makes the button in the word bank in the first available spot. Continue to develop your word bank by entering additional words, followed by the space bar. Cat. Horse. I. Am. Going. To. The. Farm. Agias. Don't worry if you make a mistake. We're just using this as a scratch pad for now. So I'm going to continue to enter the words for my word bank about, this, trip, about this trip to the farm. Pig. Good. A. Will. See. At any time, you can stop and press the escape key, and that will clear the paper. That allows me to focus on the buttons. I see I have a button with a spelling error. I don't want that button in my word bank. So I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard and using the mouse I'm going to click the button to delete it. I'd also like to add some organization to the buttons to help the student understand sentence structure and help them locate words. I'm going to hold the shift key on the keyboard and while I hold the shift key I'm going to use the mouse and drag buttons to organize them. I'm going to put the animals in a group. Again, I'm holding the shift key and I'm using the mouse to drag. I actually put the words of the first sentence in left to right sequence as a support for students to understand that they're writing a complete sentence about the farm. Now I can also use color coding and color the borders of the buttons to help students locate words. To color a border, you hold the option key on the keyboard. And while you are holding the option key, use the mouse to click a color in the color palette on the left end of the toolbar. Blue. Green. Continue to hold the Alt key and click the buttons that you want to color. Yellow. Orange. Perhaps you want to color the nouns one color, verbs a different color, the little words a different color. Yellow. You may also leave empty spaces between word groups if you'd like. That might help students find groups of words easier too. Now because I have empty spaces in my word bank, before I give the word bank to the student to write, I want to lock it by clicking the lock on the right end of the toolbar. This preserves the word bank because the keyboard is always active. And even if I were to Ride. Enter a new word or run my fingers across the keyboard. Ozzeter. PixWriter will say what I put on the paper, but it will not create an additional button because the word bank is locked. I'm just going to press the escape to clear that. Now, how is my student going to write with PixWriter? The student or students can use any mouse device. They can use a mouse, a roller, a touch ball a touch screen, 
An interactive whiteboard in the classroom is a phenomenal combination with PixWriter. And PixWriter includes scanning for students who use switches. We have both single and two switch step scanning. I'll demonstrate how to use the mouse to write. I just position the mouse cursor over a button and click. I am going to the farm. Every time I click a button, PixWriter says the word and puts the word and or picture on the paper. There's punctuation in the toolbar, so I can add that to my sentences. There's also a speaker button on the right end of the toolbar. When I click the speaker button, I can hear what I've written, and PixWriter will highlight going left to right, giving me an auditory model for reading. I am going to the farm. Now the student can continue to write their story. You can print off what is on the paper. You can save the files. And you can reuse them later. And that's your basic introduction to PixWriter on the Macintosh.